beautiful sunny day today in England. I know so many of you are from like America, you don't appreciate how much we enjoy the sun when we actually get it here in England, in the UK. It doesn't happen very often, it is so warm. It isn't even nine o'clock in the morning and I am literally in like little shorts. Oh, there you go, little crop top. I am prepared, ready for a day of like tanning and yeah, getting out in the garden and enjoying this sunshine. So I thought, what well, is a sunny day, hair up, minimal makeup today and I thought I'd put my camera up and do a little makeup tutorial at the same time. I know a lot of you are like over 30, even over 40, I mean some of you are like over 50 and I have been absolutely loving this whole like clean girl trend aesthetic like style that is everywhere at the moment. I feel like it's something I've been wearing a long time before like the trend came in. You know like all like shirts and jogger shorts and little crops and stuff. Um, so it's something I feel really really comfortable in. But I feel like if you search YouTube or you search TikTok, all you find is like 20 something year old girls, you know, doing like clean girl skincare routines, clean girl makeup routines, clean girl outfits. And I just wanted to do a video basically to show you that even if you're in your 30s or 40s or even older, I wanted to show you a way that you can incorporate this trend into your makeup, into your skincare, and into your outfits. So I thought we would start off by doing a little makeup tutorial of basically like my summer no foundation makeup, which has morphed into a very much clean girl routine, you know, with the glowy skin feathery brows, sun-kissed look, like glossy lips, like I'm all about that at the moment. And then I'm gonna to put together some clean girl outfit ideas that you can pinch as well. So once you've got your hair, your makeup, some really easy outfits that you've probably already got in your wardrobe, um, just to give you that kind of look. I have just done my skincare. I feel like it's taken me 37 years to find a skincare routine that works so well for my skin. My skin is super clean, hydrated, moisturized. I've got my SPF 50 on. Where it gives you like the most perfect base. Then to go in with this like really, you know, dewy, glowy makeup as well. I also did my nails yesterday. So they're super like, minimal bare nails. I actually did them myself at home. I was so proud of myself. And then my real nails. So they are perfect to go with all the looks today. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into the makeup. So you all know I've been obsessed with Art Deco products at the moment. I actually ordered some new products. Um, this being one of them. This is their, their camouflage cream. Um, concealer. They do a few different colours. They do like a green as well, which is amazing. Um, but this is like the yellow toned one. This concealer I am just reaching for all the time at the moment. It is perfect for those days where I don't want to put foundation on. I can just conceal any kind of darkness under my eyes. And like it says, camouflage cream, it just camouflages all those imperfect imperfections and gives you super clear skin. But on those mornings when I'm like on the school run and I don't have time for makeup, I generally just whack a little bit of this under my eyes. And as you can see, it just smooths everything out and just gives you a super even complexion. So you can see how amazing it is. It literally, in two minutes, just kind of like evens everything out. I don't actually fake tan my skin, which is why my face is a lot paler to um, my body. So make it nice and sun-kissed sun and bronze later. But this cream, this camouflage cream is just so good at just giving that really clear skin. So some days all I will do is this and my brows and I just feel confident. Just giving that effect of super, super clear skin with hardly any kind of makeup. It has also allowed me to stop using foundation, then in turn really improved my whole skin texture. So I then go in with the fixing powder which is from Art Deco. What I just do is get a beauty blender and just dab it really gently where my concealer might crease throughout the day. I don't wear, like to wear a lot of powder usually but this translucent powder is so 
light and it doesn't go like cakey or dried which is generally like why I don't usually wear a lot of powder but this one is so lovely and light and then it comes with this little puff and then I just go over the rest of my face with the puff just to give it finish before I then go in with my bronzer and now to make my face match the rest of my body I'm going to use the Art Deco bronzing powder and it has two colours of the bronzer pressing it into the skin rather than sweeping because when you press it into the skin that is what stops you getting the like caked bronzer look and this just gives a really subtle contour those days where I just want to look like really like dewy sun-kissed I'll just do the tip of my nose my chin under my lip and then I'll just one place I do sweep it is on my jawline and then I'll just build that up until it looks super bronzy so now my bronzer is done, so I feel a little bit like my face actually matches my body again. So right now I'm going to go and do my brows. I've basically been using these two products on my brows religiously. The first one is this Art Deco Clear Lash Brow Gel. So obviously just really nice to make your brows super fluffy and feathery. I mean, I don't have a lot of brows, so I like to just brush up what I do have and then fill the rest in with this insane brow pen, which is so quick and easy to use. Again, some mornings when I just don't want to wear much makeup, this is all I will do, concealer and then this brow gel. Now I'm gonna use this Pro Tip Brown Brow Liner, which is like a pen. I think I showed this on my last video. So it has like this ridged like tip to the pen but I just love the fact that it's super easy to use and just gives a really, so this is my brows before, it just gives a really like natural um, finish. This allows you just to fill in any areas that are sparse, which is quite a lot of mine. <laughs> just so quick and easy to use. and just gives you like such a thicker and natural brow in seconds and then I use this ultra fine brow liner uh, it's in the color 12 <coughs> Bless me. Um, I use this number 12 and I use this to actually ooh, just go over any beauty spots or freckles I have a little like freckly beauty spot thing here which I'm quite enjoying just filling in a bit at the moment. I think it just gives a little bit of like individuality to your face, just to highlight those things that make us different. So I kind of go over my freckles, just so you still, again, get that super like natural look rather than super perfect. Um, like you know matte skin it's also really good if you have a spot because you can just fill it in and hide it and make it into a beauty look and then I just set that in place and blend it in a little bit with the my powder puff and a little bit more of the translucent powder then for brows I love this trio eyeshadow that you can get from um, Art Deco. Basically these come in and out and you can select any of the eyeshadow colours which they have so many. Choose your colours, get a case and then you can just like mix and match Oops, to have your perfect like duo or you can get ones that have three or four and you can also get ones that will have a blusher and an eyeshadow. So these are my like everyday colours I'm wearing at the moment. This super like nudey natural colour just to go over my whole eye again so it looks super dewy and fresh and then I actually use the bronzer just for an everyday bronzy eye bringing it right into the corner here and then kind of like 
out to like be a slightly very subtle like cat eye with the eyeshadow, well the bronzer. And I bring it down onto the nose to contour. This is super bronzy, really natural look. Use this dark brown eyeshadow colour just to very subtly line my lash line. Really subtle. And I'm gonna use the Art Deco Twist for Volume Mascara. It is so perfect for giving like really nice um, long lashes without being clumpy and it just looks super natural. I'm just sweeping the eye, the mascara brush like in this kind of motion, which then brings your lashes kind of more out to the outside of your eyes. And then I just use this, this like highlighting eyeshadow just to do a super subtle highlight. I always do the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow. And then I absolutely love this lip gloss at the moment. It's the Hot Chili Lip Booster. So not only does it give you like a super like oily, glassy finish to your gloss, but it also keeps your lips looking super plumped and it's really lovely and hydrating to wear all day as well. So we apply lashings of the lip booster and it gives you this gorgeous hydrated glossy lip. That is pretty much my everyday summer makeup at the moment. You can see like you can still see your skin through but it's still nice and bronze and I think like just adding like the little freckles and things just gives it that extra super kind of natural look. I always rave about Art Deco products if you've not tried them yet make sure you try them out because not only are they amazing products but the price point on them is so affordable. I also have a discount code so I'll put it up here for you to use. That is my hair done and my makeup done. Let's go and find some clean girl outfits, put them together and I can show you how easy it is to style these outfits with things you probably already have in your wardrobe and how wearable and flattering this trend is. Okay, so first outfit that I have got to share with you is what I'm actually wearing today. This is the most gorgeous little like shirt and short set. It is so lightweight, so like floaty and airy and the perfect outfit for a summer's day. It is just this like short sleeved white shirt and then it has the matching shorts that are like really nice and flared and super comfy. They have an elasticated waistband, they have little pockets. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. It is actually from Amazon Fashion. I just thought it was such a little bargain. They have so many of like these shirts and shorts on Amazon. I'll link all the outfits below anyway. And then this top is super cute. This is actually from Zara last year, but there's loads of these styles around. I think it looks really cute with this outfit and super flattering. Really nice for summer because obviously like you can tan your shoulders and things if you want to. I think it really works with the shorts as well, just because it goes down into this V, so it gives the illusion of like a slimmer waist and it's flattering over like a mum tum. Super comfy. And then I feel like Clean Girl Essentials are just a cute little shoulder bag. I wear this bag religiously <laughs> so much. It goes with everything. It's been one of the best things that I've bought in the last few years. I think since I bought it last September, I've just worn it non-stop. I absolutely love it. And then cute little like 90s sunglasses as always. Finish the outfit. And then shoes wise, the mango black chunky like sandals on. And I feel like they are an essential if you wanted to kind of go for this kind of easy, thrown together, minimal look. A pair of chunky summer sandals are a must. So outfit number one for you. What do we think of this? I feel like it's super comfy. This is what I'm wearing for the rest of the day today. But I have pulled out some other outfits, so let's try those on also. This next little look is again a super easy to wear outfit. And the thing I love about this trend is it's 
so flattering like all these outfits I always feel really comfortable in because it is like a lot of like layered and loose things and teaming like looser items with a little more fitted thing but you have the option to like chuck a shirt on and it's just much more of a like thrown together minimal look which is just so my vibe so this is the kind of outfit I would maybe wear for maybe a little shopping day or a little lunch date. Well, I've put it with this denim skirt, but you could also just do it with denim shorts as well, or a normal skirt. And then I feel like if you just have an oversized shirt, or if you can pick up a striped shirt as well, like these blue ones just look so nice with like whites and denims. This is from New Look, and it has been one of the best buys I have bought as well this year. So like oversized, casual, goes with everything. And then you just need to find like some nice, white basic tops that fit well, that you feel comfortable in. I like this one because even though it's a crop, it's kind of like quite covered here. It's not too revealing. So I just feel like that's nicer and it's not too cropped. It just has a little, um, little hint of tummy showing. You could also put a bodysuit on if you didn't want to have any tummy showing or a t-shirt or something a little bit longer. Then another like 90s style bag. This is my CK bag, which was from Amazon. And then I just popped them on with these super chunky like sandals. I feel like this whole trend is a lot about chunky footwear. So absolutely love this kind of style. This white little outfit I am absolutely in love with. I feel like it is the perfect little casual summer's day look. This white blouse is so beautiful. I love the sleeves on it. And if you are similar to me, and you don't like the tops of your arms very much, which a lot of us women in our 30s and above are not the biggest fans of our arms. It's so flattering. It's super like light and flowy and airy for summer. This blouse and the skirt are both from Amazon Fashion. And I know so many of you love my little floaty skirts that I have from Lothies, but I don't think they actually sell them anymore and I don't think they ship to the UK anymore. So I found this alternative, which is on Amazon. It's super cute for summer. It's got loads of different colors in it, but I like this white look. It's kind of giving me like, I'm going playing a game of tennis vibes. It's super cute. And then just a canvas bag. I've gone for these sunnies for a bit of a summery vibe with the oversized shades. And then again, Footwear has got to be chunky platform, um, so I've gone for my white cheek chunky super girl trainers. This outfit I am obsessed with. This outfit could literally take you anywhere. Work, play date, shopping, dinner date. You could even dress it up for an evening look just by adding a really nice pair of heels. Perfect for summer. Also, again, so flattering, like how flattering is an oversized blazer? Whenever I don't know what to wear, I always chuck an oversized blazer on and it's just so flattering and comfy to wear. This one is a linen blazer. It's actually from House of Paolo um, on Revolve, but there are so many styles of linen blazers on H&M, ASOS, and on the high street at the moment. So I will link some below. And then all you need is a white little tank top this tank top is perfect for summer um it's just the right length like it's not too cropped you can tuck it in if you want or you can kind of pull it up a little bit if you did want to show a bit of tummy and it comes in a four pack from amazon it has black white khaki but they have all different alternatives of color combinations i'll link that below too it's so so good um and yeah surely everybody has these things in their wardrobe like a little crop top or tank or t-shirt a pair of shorts and an oversized blazer it doesn't have to be linen it could just be a lighter color blazer or even black if you feel comfortable in black go for black then just adding those dark accessories like black crossbody bag and some dark sunglasses just kind of pulls it together and makes it look super chic again chunky sandals i feel like every single look that i've done for these like clean girl outfits is all about the chunky sandal. I feel like it just balances out like the oversized fit on like the shirts, the blazer. Everything's kind of like loose and baggy and oversized. So you need that chunky shoe to balance it out. If you put a really delicate shoe with an oversized like shirt or blazer, it's just gonna look a little bit off and not really the kind of look that you want to go for. So yeah, absolutely 
in love with this too. Let me know which which outfit was your favourite and if you are going to recreate any of them. And if you want any other videos put in together of certain ways to wear certain trends or outfits, then let me know in the comments. I'll 100% do those for you. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have found the uh, styling part really helpful. And also, if you need the makeup look to go with the outfits, don't forget you can use my Art Deco code for a discount. I'll put it on the screen again for you and all the Art Deco products are linked in the description box for you with colours and everything there. Thank you for watching. If you're not already subscribed and you need some more help with like over 30s fashion and style then make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll see you very soon.